let's just ignore the dirt roads, the shabby houses, the dirty people, and enjoy a beautiful big new palace area that finally comes to completion. At least the front, the that is, in. with beautiful canals that are totally not smelly, beautiful colorful flowers that are totally not expensive to maintain. Beautiful bridges, totally, that is fine. Yeah, lots of fountains because of course we do have the water. And yeah, also a nice guard that beats and kills everyone that is getting inside without having anything to say in here. Of course, above all, is the banner of the cat. The Hello everyone, welcome back to n 100. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today, gotta say that. As we finally have finished another huge landmark for Crown Falls and can just enjoy a walk around now in the gardens. And I can do this every day, anytime I want. That is just the most precious thing in the world, I think. That is, at least. Over there, we have the blueprints for the botanical garden. That would be my one of my next projects. Unfortunately, not yet. Uh, we do need to we do need to do to do some stuff before we can go for the enjoyment again. <laughs> we do need to go back to the new world before we actually continue with anything in Crown Falls. We need Attention to yeah <laughs> go ahead with chewing gums because who knows? High level investors actually do like chewing gums, and we do, do need to provide it. To all of those people. Also, Hugo Mercia likes my islands, and we should be careful about Just that. By the way, did you know that from now on you can also go with um As always, you can also watch my I videos on you. Patreon if you're a supporter ad free. And not all of them, but for some special videos there is already room for it. So like my modding guides, my DLC guides, and also my time lapses, I'm uploading more on there. So if you like to support my channel directly and also watch some of my videos ad free. Just have a look at Patreon, the link is in the description. Now, without further ado, we should actually do some work, right? Now, before we build something, some of you have been pointing it out, uh, quite rightfully so, and very stupidly me, um, I totally ignored it up to this point, but now it becomes relevant, and yes, totally right, to we don't need the commute the peer. The commute chest. peer costs me 15 influence points per peer. When we look at the airport of the Empire of Skies broken DLC, I like to call it, because there's so many things that <laughs> just make things a lot a lot easier beside the lifestyle needs we also have the commuter station now not really an exploit because basically we are far behind the ai so it is totally fine to use this but of course getting rid of the commute peer here um saves us 15 influence and we can build the commute peer station at the airport to once again have a shared workforce with every island in the new world be it with airship platforms or be it with the commute peer so it doesn't matter right it's shared and it's a shared workforce across everything and this just says us 15 influence now don't forget we do have quite a lot of commute peers we have one in Marichal as well so another area in Marichal is now with an airship we don't have an airship platform here yet but of course it's yeah well quite easy to build the only thing we really do need is an airship platform plus the the cargo station then for it or the the commute pier, right? So there we have it. Um, let's have it yeah, close to the, the harbor area itself. A smaller airship platform. Right over there. And in here we do find now the commuter station. However, we do need to get rid of the real one first. Saving us another 15 influence. And only then can we build a normal commuter station then as well to further share the workforce. Well, we do distribute some aluminum that we need the for the... Act. For the commute pier, we can actually go ahead in Kareth now. In Kareth, I'm still missing also some aluminium. Oh, and once again, let's just accept this quest for now. I'm not entirely sure where it takes place. It's not here. Would also look good in Martinez. We have another commute pier here. Yeah, but let's have it close to my oil rigs. Doesn't matter really. And a direct connection then also with my with my harbor area um let's get rid of the commute pier there and with that we should hurry up when we want to build this because there is no workforce basically in a lot of islands without it and then we have also here now a nice a nice airport that is then connected with our with our harbor area right away and delivering the Guys, people now that. another thing is no we don't need anything here do we still have another island with workforce there it is fabes also and yeah influence is rolling in 
Speaking about influence, also we can do another championship. Let's actually go for the regional one this time. So we are slowly ramping it up. Uh, we do need we do need coffee, chocolate, fried plantains. We should have that. Uh, we do need beer or mezcal. We have that. Soccer balls and ooh, costumes we don't have yet. Felt cotton we have and electricity we have as well. And with that we do need yeah soccer balls, coffee, beer and cotton fabrics. Everything is ready for taking in Manola and this should give me then 100 influence and I think it is permanent right because we still have the influence from the previous football championship so we can earn influence this way permanently without uh with with these championships the fire left ruins behind very important Fabes also gets it because in Fabes we have the our whole production, right, for like, chocolate and stuff like that, and also now then the chewing gums, and we definitely should have then an airship platform here, especially since I want to use more airships in the future for trade routes. Um, let's go ahead. Ooh, actually tricky. We could have it right here in the center since, yeah, that is that is a suitable location for it. And let's go ahead, just here by my, by my harbor area. Let's also make a connection. Since there is no city in Fabes, uh, we can just have... Uh, an airfield then here in the center of it all um and also very important the commute pier let's get rid of this one here 15 influence and also get us another one out here as well might still have another service building in here like the item transfer depot i think i'm, I'm going ahead with this too also to keep the symmetry but also so that we can share items across the islands Ready faster than before Last item for now, Sohom. Last island for now, and that is Sohom. And so in that case here, and once so again, let's build us an airship platform. Do we have... We don't have one yet, right? No, we don't have one in Sohom. I thought we would have it. Nice location there, but close to the mountain, it doesn't really make sense to me to have an airship platform. We can have it here close to the fields and also along the main road for Sohom. And of course, as always, also, let's get rid of this one. And build us another commute pier there as well. Boy, that was like a 75 influence that we saved with that now. With all of this. Very good. There's some ruins while we're in the around. area. Let's just fix Your them. City has grown more beautiful. And Hermes here, independence. Please go to Cape Trelawney and get us some Imorus. Ship under attack. Alright, let's quickly check this one out. Probably. Oh no, actually it's in. Cape Trelawney. Who would have thought? Uh, in Cape Trelawney, by the way, yep, over here, we do have three more Dreadnoughts. Empty yet, so let's equip them with the Handsgun, Dre, and probably attack. Romanov there too, and then another HP boost. Oh yeah, another Ship airship attack, attack, but look at that. It went down rather quickly this time, but before reaching my Ship under Docklands, really, it just um, just damaged damage. one of my ships. Oh no, wait a second, there's more coming in. I like people with a coarse air. Having three now, four. Should actually be really fine. Attack. They're firing. Yeah, it's not fine though. They can destroy at least one or two airships here, but they can still throw their cargo off board, which is not ideal. Now they're attacking my harpy here, cotton fabric. And really, they're still not doing enough damage, in my opinion. But, Your and that's a big but, we have no more attack. influence again. And once the siege is over, I will just squeeze us in a few more. Another one is down. However, we're definitely going to lose the Harpy there. Ship no, attack. actually, we don't. Let's get the Harpy to the repair crane. At least those people in Crown Falls, they do see some action from time to time. And that's... That's already worth the rent, I think. There you go. Let's just wait it out to repair and yeah three more dreadnoughts two of them fully Firing equipped with the boosts and uh, one of them halfway there let's get those two back to the old world so that they might bring us back Hi. some juicy items off they go now also while we're in crown falls let's have a look i finished another building permit for my scholars and let's go do with those four to the library and then another one here close to the Museum. This pushes the research points now to 10,000 points. Uh, also, electricity has been unlocked with that. We should be getting electricity in. However, we do have a bit of a, an oil shortage there. Is it because the tracks are full or because we're really low on oil? We are really low on oil, so there we really have another task 
that we need to, uh, to work on then soon. Now, finally, we have a bit of time to work on Kareth. In Kareth, uh, we are also going to build an airship platform because airships are going to be used for transportation. Um, and in that case, let's... Yeah, and we don't need the commute pier, of course. I'm certainly not going to build another one there now. Let's have the airship, yeah, somewhere over there. As in always, the inner city and or the inner circle. And then the commute pier, of course, rather close by. We, it does need to have some adjacency yeah, somewhere over there. And then easily have it to share the workforce, share be? the love throughout my islands. And yeah, what do we need in Kareth now? Two things. First of all, we need to purchase back the shares and then our production chains. Kareth has the Kachuk fertility. So that means Kachuk farms, Kachuk plantations we have. Not in the highest quantity though, right? So this is going to be a very specialized island here. It is for now only providing for my chemical plant. Um, and we don't need that much as we know, right? So 0 0.5 it was with the new skyscraper is probably 0 0.7. Um, so one of them is producing two tons. We could go with four tons for now as a calculation. Um, and that barely leads to, yeah around four couch plantations so Your it's really really not that much point. and let's just go ahead and get us the first ones here i'm not going to particularly boost them with anything because i think it's really not worth it for a um, a low volume product as the chewing gums they're more expensive in other areas then let's go ahead and have those four here um it barely costs us space really and that's it, right? Let's keep the clay deposit there available for later. Um, and with that, we can already go ahead and build those four. And the other one is the cinnamon orchards. And for, of those, we also need four for now. Uh, actually, no, we do need two only. They cost lots of space though. And we only need two for now, which is the best. The two of them we can actually easily squeeze in over here. And then we might squeeze in another two here down the road. But this is really just a lot, right? So that would be... 8 tons of cinnamon then already. And we certainly don't need that. Let's go ahead and build two of them for now. There they go. Planting process in action. Boy, what a lovely location. Just behind those trees you have a beautiful white beach. And they're now going to produce me juicy cinnamon, cinnamon out of these trees here perhaps. Who knows? Your ship has returned from its voyage. And I can only imagine the smell. It must be gorgeous. It must be dazzling. I'm already dizzy just thinking about all that cinnamon. And of course then, holy moly, a beautiful area really to take a swim. Next up, we still have Fabes. Uh, in Fabes, we do have the chemical plant. Now, I was going with two of them for now. They can be improved by electricity. That means we probably only need one, really. Um, so, we will build them here in this area, right? So, two of them. Let's also have uh, their own warehouse then. And they're just going to be provided. And we might actually squeeze in them even more here if we ever need that much chewing gum. Um, the other thing that is still though required is sugar. Um, at the moment, I think we will not have a sugar... A surplus here no actually it's below that even so we have a, a, a negativity a negative balance there so we do need to provide oh i see because we're full so we are completely stuffed out is there something else that i'm missing no chocolate is out the chocolate output is full as well so good that we're checking this up that means that yeah we do need more chocolate traders here let's also boost the, the storage even though I do have already quite a bit of storage there. We might still go ahead and have a few more depots in the area. I think we can afford this. Ah, that's an, a nice potential storage area. Let's build around two of them for now. I would really like to finish my factories first. We should still have some building materials in the area though. Perfect. And with that, let's go ahead. And build both of them. Right. Let's build one of them for now. Not go overboard here. This is getting boosted now. So I'm expecting actually 200%. And that should be enough. Right. So this will then already be 4 tons of chewing gum per uh, minute. Now only Kareth remains. I think we still have. Yep. For me, Sirna Puaquin Victor 2 is available for trading. Let's go ahead and create a new trade route. Kareth to Fabes. All the way down there. And in that case here, it's going to be... Kautschuk. There we go. Bear in mind, the ship is very fast, right? Kautschuk and then we have cinnamon over there, right? So 
will be a very short trade route and Puerco Invicto, there it is. Starting this trade now with yeah a maximum of 50 per slot. And the, the production, as we know, is rather low, right? With four tons only. So that means um, it would need 12, yeah, 13 minutes to cap it out. And the ship is certainly not taking Let's that long. Let's just unload what we can unload here in Seth with Sephir and Kareth and return back home. We will need this ship later on. About the oil shortage, I'm going to assign a third tanker to my trade route that goes from Demings to Crown Falls because even in Demings we are capped on oil all the time. So let's just bump it up there a bit. Also the storage, of course, that's the important thing here. Two more times, uh, plenty of oil now. And are we actually using everything that we have? 16 fields? Yeah, I think we are, right? Yep, there's no more oil fields than unused or something like that. We can still go ahead if we want to boost it by 50%. No problem, really happiness is still fine. We could tackle any kind of risk that would uh, appear here uh, with a... Yeah, basically with a fire station and a police station. Let's go ahead and actually take the smaller uh, mobile task force that we can then just really squeeze in close to it. One here and one here. They're extremely cheap, right? And still reduce the risk. And then also perhaps a fire station here and a fire station here to also tackle the problem of explosions. And that's really it, by the way. They still need a connection with the main road. And the same goes with that one here. And also, of course, to my refinery. All right, the ship is under attack. That is a dreadnought that is in combat right now. Your Over there. Is under the home being bombed right now a bit, but yeah, going down quickly. Those ships there, no chance to my flags. Off they go once more. Now, in Fabes, I think... We should be having now the first chewing gums in. Oh, Two tons. Yeah, it's not much, but it's, it's a start. The... Ship is already on its way back, the airship. Getting some more materials over here in Kareth. Let's just quickly check it out. That's a lot more. Caoutchouc and cinnamon now. This is coming back and then, yeah, the chewing gum trade rod is ready for action. By the way, did we lose? No, nope, this is still unpaused. Let's unpause it back again. And then I'm going to create a new trade rod. And this is going to be a three-stop trade rod. So we are going from Fabes to Martinez and then to Crown Falls. And this is going Your to be my Sephir, right? And we're going to take the chewing gums. I think like um, two of them should be should be fine. Yeah, the volume is really low. Um, and we're using the Sephir here after all. I'm also going to take some Infabes, some chocolate with me because we're always a bit capped on that. And it has eight slots available, right? Chip and in Martinez, we can take coffee because we're also constantly kept on coffee in Martinez, despite having Your now four cargo ships on that already. Attack. So we really do need to, to push it up there with Delphis. And there, the sexiest of all the airships is on its way. Flickering a bit there on the back, but I think it's fine. On its way for lots and lots of volumes they're getting to Crown Falls. Of course, it's a slower airship. It is still, it is the slowest airship, but it's still faster Your than a, a cargo ship, attack. right? Also, by the looks of it, um, can supersede any other ship that is just passing by. Yeah, also the chemical or the, the chewing gums are now work. They're being produced in a chemical plant, by the way. Awesome. And let's just check it out now. We have the production of four per minute, right? So the volume is going to be very low on that one, but still more than we need in Crown Falls. Quite busy here with uh, two airships docking right now. And then there's already the next one coming getting the chewing gums and that's it let's go back to crown falls there in crown falls let's have a look at my skyscrapers i want to i want to i want to pause the chewing gums now very important because i want to unlock it myself um and then we still have one more good here the biscuits also we have lots of influence let's go ahead another dreadnought and another dreadnought uh we could even build a third one right away and then we would have five more dreadnoughts in total more building permits have been finished. We can actually finish all five researches now here. Oh, and we have more. I totally probably forgot about my building permits. Those two and that one here by the World Fair. 
So that's 10 more in total, leading to 13,000 science points that have been unlocked with that. By the way, I think we're not researching anything right now. Nope. Let's go ahead. Campus extension something. now needs 7,000 science points. But it's fine. And then we just queue it as many times as possible for now. Actually, not that much. I think that is that is too much. That is fine. Because, of course, at some point, we'll just end the expansion here. Let's use this to continue with the expansion of skyscrapers. We can have a few more here. And I would definitely also like to upgrade a few more now. This Providing them with a good bonus overall. Uh, let's also try to keep a bit of a distance between, is under between basically some of them, right? So that we don't have a huge wall of buildings then, uh, just like that. Way. So there is a, a couple of engineer skyscrapers as well, mixing it in. No problem. Shift and then we got attack. these blocks here with probably a central skyscraper. Oh, that's a particularly beautiful one. The epidemic I love it. I love the city. red on it. Very nice. So with the skyscrapers, we are entering a bit more colorful area, right? Once again. And that is fine. And then we have the these ones here around it. But of course, uh, yeah, that's that. And then we're going to upgrade the central one here to the highest one, getting a good panorama effect. And there is a few more that we can also upgrade. With that, finally, also biscuits have been unlocked. They're really easy in comparison to the other one. We only need an assembly line. We already have that in Crown Falls. We do need tallow and we do need flour. Both of them we theoretically have already in Crown Falls. And um, citrus would be the only thing that is missing. That is once again in the new world. And we already have a citrus uh, production. In Fabes, totally right, over there it is. So it can't hurt to have a few more of them. Let's check it out. So once again, I'm pretty sure that for the biscuits, uh, biscuits we do have yeah, a very slow uh, consumption, very low one that is, um, only one ton right now. Um, and the production will probably also be once again up to four points, uh, up to four tons or even more. Look at that. It would be eight tons per minute if we boost it, but four tons by default. Um, so that is perfectly fine for all that we have and with that however we do need yeah two citrus uh orchards for one of the assembly lines here so let's just go ahead and also build us a few more i'm actually going to build more because i want to have a surplus and i want to have a good storage available of citrus attack. go ahead and have a bunch of them here yeah we can hear miss hunt she is annoying as always i endure she's not your friendly grandmother unfortunately is the evil sister. That's that. And Citrus getting Thanks over. Now we do have the Sephir, right? This is tempting. We just got the Sephir done. And I could actually, instead of going with the full coffee, I could say, um, let's actually go with some Citrus there in Fabes as well. Because we do have it, right? And we don't need that much Citrus anyway. And let's get this one to Crown Falls as well. Delphis. Oh, it's capped with coffee. So I need to make sure that we unload everything before uh, it goes off again. Also, just on time, because I, I was just thinking of what to do next at the moment, the regional championships are starting. Enjoying... Oh, that is not your modern soccer. That is another version of it. That is the tropical version. Oh, that was a goal right there. And the people are absolutely enthusiastic about the whole thing. Let's have a quick look at it. Uh, we get the second highest reward out of that. I'll take it. And this leads to 75 influence on top of everything. Plus happiness 20 and income per house 25 for a certain amount of time. Having this one done. As we can see, yep, we do get the influence then in as well. And it's permanent. It is here to stay. And this is actually enough for two more dreadnoughts again. I love that system. <laughs> Last but not least, assembly line number two. I'm not going with the elevators here. Let's go with biscuits. In all its glory. Now flour capped, tallow not capped, but we're going to work on that soon. And then we have the citrus. We're waiting on that actually at the moment. And with that, another production has been finished. Ah, and there's the airship already. Despite being so big. Oh, it was damaged. Despite being so big, it's really fast because it was not even fast forwarding. It's already here. Uh, yep, let's get it to Crown Falls. Why was it damaged? Is there something happening? 
Mm, oh, it might have passed through these guys here. But we do have our flag monitors. Let's clear them. We need to make the airspace safe for usage. Otherwise, I, I can't allow my ships getting attacked, of course. Very bad for business overall. Biscuits coming in. Uh, let's pause them, really. For my level 2 skyscrapers. Because I also want to the control this. And with that, we would have then the ability to go with skyscrapers 3 already. Oh, glorious times ahead of us. And they're also night. Might need to be a central park at some point now. Stay tuned. With you as nurse, I knew...